If you've ever wished your robot was a little shorter to get into hard to reach places, Roborock has just released the Curivo Slim here on the left. The Slim model does away with the LiDAR dome, and this is the Curivo Master over here. Now, the Curivo Slim is very similar to the Curivo Master, as I'll explain in this video. I just released a review of the Curivo Master. If you haven't seen that review, I'll go ahead and leave that link above and below in the description. I recommend you checking that out before watching this video, as this unit is very similar in features and functionality to the Curivo Master, with just a few differences, and again, I'll point those out right now. Now first, the Curivo Slim isn't on sale just yet. This is a pre-production model. This Curivo Slim is only going to come in black. And it is a, a piano black dock. Now the dock is identical to the dock on the Curivo Master here. It has the self-washing dock base, just like the Master. Same size dust bag, same size water tanks. Uh, for all intents and purposes, hot water washing, everything on the dock is the exact same as the Curivo Master. Uh, where things differ are in the robots themselves. Now, as I mentioned before, the biggest difference with the Slim is the fact that it has no LiDAR dome on top. In fact, it uses a series of time-of-flight sensors. I'll explain more in a minute. It uses the time-of-flight sensors instead of the LiDAR on top in order to reduce its height from 10.3 centimeters on the Curivo Master all the way down to 8.2 centimeters. So this guy should be able to get under couches and tables with ease. Now, uh, I certainly will test out the navigation to see how well it performs. Uh, maybe it's better, maybe it's worse. We'll see. You'll have to make sure you subscribe to find out. But let me explain about this difference in the sensors. As you can see, the Curivo Master up here, which has the LiDAR dome, inside of this, the, inside of this turret is a spinning uh, disc, and it emits light pulses. And as it spins, it is measuring the time that it takes to return the light pulse back to the sensor here. And it is, to date, one of the most accurate ways to map and navigate around your house. So Roborock decided to get rid of this instead to move to a time-of-flight sensor here on the front. You'll see some extra sensors compared to the master. It still has a camera on front. It still has a LED light, and it still has a structured light sensor up front, but they move to a solid state time of flight. So it's going to send out the light and measure the time that it takes to return, but instead of spinning, it only is going to be able to measure what is in front of it. And that is where Roborock has added two more sensors to help with the navigation. Uh, there is a time of flight sensor on the back corner, which should also tell it how far it is away from objects. In addition to this, there is a ground tracking sensor here on the very bottom. My guess is these three sensors will all work together to take place of the spinning LiDAR dome up top. Now the Slim has the same dual roller setup as the Master, but it does have a little bit more powerful vacuum motor coming in at 11,000 pascals versus 10,000 pascals on the Master. So we should have a little bit better suction here. We'll be certain to test that out. So for a quick recap, why would you want the Slim over the Master? Well, there's really only one reason, and that's if you want a robot that can get into more hard-to-reach areas, like under tables, beds, and couches. Uh, you may want to look at the height difference of 8.2 centimeters versus 10.3 centimeters. Otherwise, they are nearly identical. The larger internal water tank might be beneficial on the Master, Whereas the extra power in the vacuum motor on the Slim uh, may be a little bit beneficial, but 1,000 extra pascals is not very much. I'll be sure to test this out and give you some comparison numbers with the Master when we do test it out. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe to be subscribed to my channel so you will see this and the Curivo Curve in a future upcoming review. And again, a link below to the review of the Curivo Master. All right, thanks for watching this video, and take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye.